So this is my uh, new Commodore 64 um, that I built a few months ago. Um, it's uh, I showed this in a previous video. Um, so I, the, as I stated in the previous video, the goal of this build was to create to build a a Commodore 64 using as many new components as possible. Um, so um, in, in the previous video, I had you know just the, the standard 4164 RAM chips. Um, in the installed into the computer, um, I'd originally bought this uh, this board over here. Um, it's a SRAM replacement. It just uh, if you have you install sockets in for the the RAM chips and um, it plugs into the sockets. Um, the old chips, these are the old 4164 chips. Um, they're you know they're they're just uh, standard. What's what goes in the the bread bin. Um, but what I've done is I, I've removed the, the old 4164 chips and put um, this um, board. Um, here, I'll zoom in. So get a better shot. So, keeping with the um, theme of this build, um, this this is new RAM. Um, and uh, it's actually a lot cheaper than um, trying to find uh, f uh, eight 4164 chips um, these days. Um, the the RAM's getting harder to find, and it seems like it's it's going up in price. Um, and then the idea here is is this is this is a new component, and it's one component, so it's it's hopefully less likely to to fail long term. Um, so I'm gonna. I just installed this, and I'm going to um, boot up the computer for the first time. Uh, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna test it. This this computer has um, two video modes. So I'll show you over here. So it it's got this this uh, chip switcher, video switcher um, that. Um, uh, has has two versions of the the VIC2 chip it has the NTSC version and the the um, PAL version and then also uh, it has a LumaFix um, installed in it uh, integrated into to the board um, and then it connects over here to to power originally this came with a um, like grabber to just grab on the power legs but I'm I'm always opening the case and, and those grabbers didn't last very long they got bent and stopped working because it this board requires um, power uh, when the, the, the unit's plugged in um, but the computer's off and so that um, lets it switch between the, the two chips over here um, while the computer's off and then um, using this switch over here you can switch between NTSC and PAL uh, in, when it's this direction it's, it's NTSC mode when it's the other direction it's PAL um, but but this board has some some um, protections built in so that the the switch doesn't work when the computer's powered up. So let's go ahead and uh, get this closed up, and uh, we can uh, test it out. Okay, I have the computer uh, closed back up, and uh, so let's uh, give this a try and see if it boots up. And this is uh, I have it the switch set this way, so it's so it's set to NTSC. Oh, there it is. It worked. Works in NTSC. Let's try it in uh, PAL mode. And there it is in PAL mode. So this RAM appears to, to work. Let's, um, I'm going to try uh, next. Let's just uh, put it through a simple diagnostic with the uh, dead test cartridge. Uh, let's leave it in PAL mode. Okay, dead test cartridge to do um, some basic diagnostics just to, to see what uh, it, uh, the, the dead test um, 
will not only does dead test but does some very basic diagnostics. So let's see what what, what it thinks about that that new RAM. New dead test always takes a little while. So the test comes up. Okay, so we got through um, through a successful test with the, the des dead test cartridge. Um, I'm going to go ahead and hook up the uh, test harnesses and, and do the, the full um, full test, uh, full diagno diagnostic test. So here's the um, the uh, test harness that I have. Um, these this is the the back bit test harness. Um, it's pretty nice. It's uh, 3D printed. It looks like kind of handmade, but um, it works great. Um, has this cartridge, this joystick port tester, the, the cable that connects between the, the cassette port and, the, and this over here, and then of course the user port tester. Um, so I have my uh, test harnesses, um, cables all connected, um, serial port user port, the serial port, the cassette, and the joystick port here. Um, what I'm going to use to test this is the um, back bit cartridge. A nice feature of the back bit cartridge is it has um, various diagnostics built into it. Um, if you hold down the button uh, and, and then when the light goes out and press once you get the dead test. If you press twice you get the, uh, the full diagnostic cartridge, C64 diagnostic. If you press three times you get the one 28 diagnostic. So let's go ahead and get this in. I'm going to hold down the button. Give it two clicks. So now it's going to run through the full uh, Commodore 64 diagnostic utilizing the, the um, test harness cables diagnostic. Okay, it looks like everything's tested okay. Now it's just going to reset, restart. So, so anyway, it looks like that um, that new RAM module for the Commodore 64 uh, works, and um, so I'm going to try resetting the back bit into a different. Just going to remove all the diagnostic cables. Joystick plugged in. Hold the button. Set the back bit to a normal mode. Let's see. Let's see if uh, impossible mission loads. Okay, let's try running the program. Let's try um, your commando. Well, that's interesting. Let me switch to uh, NTSC mode.
so it seems to like you'll see better. It's kind of glitchy though. Definitely an issue with, um, with power mode. Now this is a this is coming from the back bit, so I'm wondering if it's a power mode back bit issue. Well, let's let's give it, give it a try. Let's try a different. Um, Cartridge. I'm going to try a trusty old uh, Easy Flash. Um, I'm going to switch to power mode and take out the back bit. And, uh, install the Easy Flash. Alright, Easy Flash comes up. Let's try. Uh, All right, seems to be working. Let's get into the, the actual game. Oh, works. Okay, so works on the easy flash. Let's try one more easy flash. Looks like it works. Yeah, looks fine. So it must be just an issue with the with the, um, the back bit uh, in PAL mode with that particular RAM. So everything worked fine before in PAL mode with the, the old RAM. So yeah, um, I, I, I think the RAM works. I think there, that maybe I just ran into uh, some kind of incompatibility with the, the, the new RAM module and the, the back bit cartridge.